Hi there. So you don't have any hot water or you don't have much hot water? That was my situation also. This is a very complex system here by A.O. Smith. And this is basically a California type Apollo heating system. So they pattern this off after this company called Apollo and this will basically give you hot water and also supply hot water to the furnace to give you heat in the winter. And if you need more heat, and the hot water runs out, which it does, then you can go to a, a gas heater up in the furnace itself. So I wasn't getting much hot water from this thing at all. Maybe about 100 degrees. I was getting like 99 degrees. And you really want to get about 120 out of this thing. And what else complicates it is a few years ago, I said, okay, I want more hot water. So I just simply turned up the water heater. And it did give me more hot water, but it wasn't the right way to do it. So let me show you around and how this works so let me get this jack out of the way here so with this hot water heater this has the intellivent on it and the intellivent is a system where it will vent gases off of the hot water heater from a fan on top so you'll see a fan here on top which will vent the hot water heater so this has a number of wires as you can see that some go to those four here going to the burner and there's a bunch going to the motors and things up there okay so to set temperature on this thing you hold these two buttons down and you can see right now i'm on the a setting i i had this thing all the way up to very hot so for years i've had this thing way up here and that's not where you should have it so I think A is around 140 degrees, and that's about where you want it. So, anyway, let's get back to why I wasn't getting much hot water. So, I had this thing set up to very hot, and I was getting water out of this thing at about one, oh, what was it? About 100 degrees. So, I started researching this thing, and I used a uh, temperature probe. One of those things you use for COVID, you put somebody's forehead. I put that on surface temperature, and I could see about 150 degrees from the out the, the outlet pipe on this hot water heater, 150 degrees. So I knew that everything concerning the water heater was fine. Everything was great. Now, in the great state of California, they put this valve on here. And this valve, what this thing does is it mixes cold water. So here's the, the cold water side. The cold water is coming in this way. Here's the water from the hot water heater. And I can feel it's pretty hot. So. They mix in cold water so the output temperature here will not exceed you know 120 degrees is what they what they uh, say it should be so basically i figured the hot water heater has 150 degree water coming into here i'm getting 100 degrees out so this valve as you can see it leaks a lot it's been a trouble over the years but i've never touched this thing so and you're supposed to unscrew this little bottom part unscrew this little hex screw here in the bottom and you're supposed to lift that up a little bit and then turn it well I didn't do that I simply put some vice grips on here and probably broke that part of it but anyway the valve still works so this valve of course was jammed because it was locked and all I did was get it, got it to move and then I started fiddling around if you go counterclockwise here and the valve comes down it'll come down about that far that's your hottest setting, and that basically has no effect on the water at all. It doesn't mix when it's all the way open. So I was getting tank temperature out, and then when I closed this thing up, I was getting it about 100 degrees. So what happened to this valve? I don't know. I, I, I think this valve is still probably bad. So I ran it all the way up closed. I ran it open, and basically I kept calibrating it. Now I'm getting about 120 degrees out of the faucet. So... I'm gonna leave this valve alone. This is called a Watts valve, W-A-T-T-S. And if your water is not running completely hot, you, you gotta check this valve first. Before you blame your water heater tank, this valve could be the problem. And so yeah, check your temperature going into this valve. If it's at 150 or 140, whatever your tank is set to, and this is your cold water coming in here, and this is your output here of the mixed water going to your hot water tap in your sinks, in your shower, in your bathtub. This valve needs to be set. 
cleaned or replaced. The valve's about 100 bucks. Anyway, so that's the story on the valve. And of course, they have a little pump here with Apollo. There's a pump. Uh, this pipe goes up to the attic where the heat exchanger is on the furnace up there. I just turned this valve off. I don't, I don't want water going up to the. I don't like this thing heating uh, using water for the uh, furnace, so I turned it off. I want the hot water tank just to give us hot water. So that's the story completely. And in this county, you need to have this blower on here. That's about it. And if this thing gets stuck, you can just unplug it. Uh, sometimes it'll lock you out if, you're, if your boiler on the bottom is not igniting. It'll lock you out. I haven't had that trouble with this thing. I've had, I've had neighbors, neighbors say the, uh, the blower or the um, the flame uh, plate down here is the burner plate's bad and it's under warranty to get replaced. I don't know. Anyway, here's the AO. This is this is basically a White Rogers thermostat. I was going to yank this off and put a new one on because I thought the tank was not getting up the temp and and here it was that valve on the top. It was that mixing valve. So the water heater was innocent and it's clear of any any problems. And here's the model of it here, in case you want to see that. This is a model tank I have. All right, I hope that's helpful. It was Smith here. And yeah, that mixing valve is, is a Watts valve. Uh, I wish I had the number for you here, the valve. I think I left it upstairs, but what I'm doing is turning it uh, counterclockwise to get colder and clockwise to get hotter and uh, that's about it or no 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 I'm wrong I'm wrong clockwise okay um counterclockwise is is this way so counterclockwise for hotter and clockwise for colder so clockwise so this valve will go clockwise for colder which is that way you're spinning it spinning it this way and for hotter you open the valve so you are opening the valve you're going uh, you're going counterclockwise to open it to get hotter water and you're going clockwise to get colder water out of the mix on the top and that's about it okay hope that helped you take care have a great day and that valves about 100 bucks good luck with that